One of the disappointment in printing your own image is to have the print in your hand, compare it to a fully calibrated display to realize the colors don't quite match. In my experience, many times this is not necessarily a calibration issue, but more so an illumination issue. What light source are you using to illuminate your print? Is that LED or the light source of good quality? And these are really some of those things that are really hard to pin down. In fact, I think this is one of the biggest pain point in printing. So we're gonna be taking a look at Calibrite Graphite Light that I believe is going to solve many of these issues that we have when we're printing our images. So I'll be unboxing this, giving you my first impression, and then afterwards, we're going to be comparing this light with printed image with what I have on my fully calibrated BenQ display as well. In addition to this, I'll also be measuring the color output from the light, the quality of it using my Zaconic color meter as well. There's really a lot to cover, so let's jump right into it. This is Artist Right. Full disclosure, I am Calibrite Ambassador and Calibrite have sent me this graphite light to do an unboxing, review, and also testing so that I can share my experience with all of you. All the opinions you're about to hear in this video are my own. Follower of this channel will know that throughout the years, I have recommended numerous light source for print illumination, from studio light to LED light banks to even screen bars. And even though all those options provide a decent lighting to view your print when compared to your calibrated display, many of them will leave you guessing as far as how accurate the colors are because there are so many different models that are on the market. Either that or you can't just go in and dial the color temperature that you want right away. So I believe that this solution from Calibrite, this graphite light, is going to help alleviate a lot of those issues. Now this is pretty much an LED light that has three color temperatures, just set value. So it has 5000, 4000, and 2700 Kelvin. Now most of the time for print viewing we're not going to really be using the 2700 Kelvin. I think that for majority of us, we'll probably stick with 5,000 Kelvin. So let's take a look at what comes inside this box. And we're gonna take a look at this LED lamp. So pretty much what you get in the box is a few things. A little instruction manual on how to use it. Foam padding, we're gonna put that under the table. There's a little power adapter and this is just pretty much the lamp right here. So let's open this up. Now this lamp does fold up like so and it does give you a spread. As far as just testing up a demo unit at a store, I was able to see that this can cover a pretty good, decent area of print. So this is pretty much the lamp itself. The Graphite Light Calbright logo in the front, this is how you turn on and off. There's an information screen and this is pretty much the LED array at the very top here. Now what Calbright have also given us as well is this gray print viewing mat. This is in addition to the other things you're using. I think that the size of this in general, if you take a look at it, it's going to be pretty good for an 8x10 print, 4x6, 5x7. Anything larger than that is probably not going to fit very well and mine came a little bit folded already so it's going to take some time for it to just kind of flat out a little bit but I think this is going to work better for smaller prints. Now the print I'll be showing you later on in this video these are going to be 13 by 19 prints as you're seeing now. So we'll be comparing this with what we have in Lightroom Classic before we print everything out. So you're going to get a chance to see a comparison side by side. But before we do all that let's power this up. So what we have is a universal power adapter and let's find the US plug. So pretty much you can buy one of these and take it with you around the world. In fact, I am gonna take this to one of the workshop that I am leading. So anyways, pretty much you're gonna just put this in together like so. This is the power adapter and we're gonna plug this in and we'll turn this on. So on the back of this lamp, there is a USB type A. So you can also use this to charge your device. I think it seems like that would be the case. Um, I've just put the power in there. There is a battery backup so we can pull this out. And you know, obviously there's a manual on how to use this. This is pretty much it turning on for the very first time. And it plays in Ole Lang Syne New Year song, which is rather interesting. All right. So it tells you a temperature, there is a time, there is a date, month, and year, and let's get this set up. So I believe you can also use this as an alarm. Very interesting. So let's set up a time. All right, now that I have the lamp set up, it is also showing the temperature in the room as well. So there is an ambient light sensor. You can flip over, I think, between Celsius and also Fahrenheit if you want to, but we're not going to 
do that at the moment. And pretty much the way how you activate the lamp is by tapping that. You would get three different illumination. And if I actually go to the highest illumination, I'll hold this down. This is now changing the color temperature to pretty much the next thing up. So you can kind of see the different color temperature as we cycle them through. Now this tends to be the, I would say most neutral light. This is around 5,000 Kelvin or so. And what I'm gonna do is turn this on to the highest illumination. This is just pretty much a lamp right here. Three color settings, control everything with one button. There is the power adapter comes with, it tells you time. This is how you can view your print. So now what we're gonna do next is that I'm gonna turn off the stereo light for just a moment and we're gonna use my Sikonic color meter to measure the color temperature output, the CRI and also the TLCI value as well. So let's do that. What I wanna do first is get a measurement of the color spectrum and see what color temperature we're getting from this light. So what I'm gonna do now is tap on that and this is supposed to be 5,000 and is reading at 4763. Now, is this accurate? I would say yes. It is within plus minus a few hundred. I think that's perfectly fine for LED lamp because as far as my experience go, they never really land on the dot. As far as the RA value, that is pretty much at 95.6. So this CRI is greater than 95. That means the color is accurate. So what we're gonna take a look is, this is pretty much the CRI readout between all of those. All these colors tend to do really well. And I wanna show you one more thing as well which is the spectrum output. Now with all of these LED light, majority of the time the problematic area would be, I would say like in the red, in the orange zone, where you can see there is a heavy drop off in there. This is pretty much with every light, but from my testing with other lights that I've seen on the market, Calibrite Graphi Light tends to be the best at representing a lot of those yellows and also those orange tones because a lot of other LED lights tend to drop off much faster than this light in general. And what we're gonna do is let's take a look at this TLCI value. Let's do a quick measurement on this one. So the TLCI value for this light is pretty much 98. Now this is giving us a good measurement. What we're also going to do is let's change the color temperature a little bit. This is the 2700 Kelvin. So we're just gonna simply see how good this light is at 2700 Kelvin. In fact, the color is even a little bit more accurate. This is pretty much right on 2706. Like that color is pretty much right on. The RA value is 97.8. In fact, it's probably rendering the color even better. And there's still a good tone in there, but you're not seeing a lot of blue anymore. And part of it is because the blue drop off. This is a very, very warm light at 2700 Kelvin. Now let's take a look at the T. TLCI value for this one. The TLCI for this is 98. So they are really passing. So whatever Calibri is claiming about this light, so far that has been accurate. Now what I'm going to do is test this at the 4000 color temperature rating. So for this one, at 4000 is reading close to it. Not really quite there, but we're still within plus minus 300, so we're good there. The RA value is 96. That is pretty much the CRI, 96.1. And if we take a look at the tonal curve, it's very similar to the 5000 Kelvin tonal curve or the spectral output there. So that's pretty good. The TLCI value is pretty much at 98, so that's also showing us a really good value here. But majority of the time, what I'm gonna be really be using this lamp in, it's gonna be at this color temperature. This is 5,000 Kelvin, and we're gonna do a measurement one more time at 5,000 Kelvin. Now, again, this is within a few hundred. The TLCI is 98 on this, which is good. The spectral output, you can see it as almost full range, 95.2 in terms of CRI. So everything is really looking on up and up in this light. Now that we have a chance to fully test and validate graphy light color output quality using my Sikonic color meter, I'm going to reset up the studio so that this lamp is pretty much illuminating my 13 by 19 print. And we're going to be comparing this with BenQ SW272U that has been fully calibrated with Palette Master Ultimate and also Calibrite Display Plus HL device. For the setting that I use for this display calibration, that would be Adobe RGB. I've set the white point to D65 and the luminance to 80 in this situation. So we're gonna reset this all up and we'll do a comparison side by side and see how this looks.
For this comparison, I'll be using VoiceOver. Right now, the display is calibrated at D65, and we're using Graphite Light at 5000 Kelvin to illuminate this print. There is some slight color discrepancy between what you're seeing on the display and on the print, but overall, I would say that the colors are really close to each other. The only area that's I would say are slightly off are going to be the blue in the ice because the display is showing a little bit more cooler blue and the print is showing a little bit warmer. This also has to do with the print backing itself to the material being used for it and also pretty much the light source that we're viewing right now which is off by around 1500 Kelvin. Now if we take a look at the sky area and also the orange in the sky and what's being reflected on the water itself, the colors are really close to each other. But what I'm going to do next is change the color mode of this display so that we're not just viewing this at D65. What I'm going to do is change it so that we are viewing this display using Paper Color Sync. Now in Paper Color Sync, what I'm really doing right now is tuning the display so that the color output is matching what you're seeing on the lamp right now at 5000 Kelvin. And when we take a look at the print this way, it is extremely close to what you're really seeing on the display and this is really achieving a good result. So what I'm gonna do is bring up the next image and we're gonna take a look at this comparison again, but this time we're going to start out with paper color sync. This is an image of my friend Taylor. And one of the more difficult things about printing this image is not so much the skin tone, but rather getting the deep saturated green on the top and also the bottom to match with what you're really seeing on the display and also the purple flowers as well. What we're able to achieve with this lighting, with this particular printout is a consistency that you're getting from pretty much screen to print, which is actually something that's really good. Now, currently the SW272U is set to paper color sync. I am going to change this back to Adobe RGB color mode in our calibration. So when we do that, a couple of things pop out right away. The metal, the neutral tone is reflecting slightly different. Skin tones come really close to what you're seeing on the display still. And I would say that the green on the top and the bottom of the screen are, or on the image rather, it's matching really closely with what you're really seeing on the display. And that is the main thing that we really want to achieve. All right, let's move on to our next set of samples. Now, when we compare these two side by side, we can see that there is a difference in the blue in the background. And part of this is because our display is currently set to 6500 Kelvin. So there are some discrepancy right away. However, in the warmer colors, for example, the slight magenta purple hue in her hair, that is matching it really well. Skin tone is looking fairly good, but also you have to remember at the end of the day, we're printing this on a much warmer paper as well. And we're also viewing this on two different type of material. One of them is reflective, which is the print and the display, which is a backlit material or backlight material. Now, what I'm gonna do is change this color mode to paper color sync. And what we're gonna get is a resemblance between print and display that is just absolutely uncanny. We can see that now the blue tones, if we change the color temperature of display to around 5000 Kelvin to match the light we're viewing, this is matching really close to what we're seeing. Her skin tone, the hair color, everything is matching really close with what we're seeing on the display. And remember that I have calibrated my display to 80 nits. And in my experience, I found that if you're viewing in a dark environment like this, 80 nits from the display output is more than bright enough to match what you're really seeing in the print. So let me reset up a studio and wrap this whole review all up. So Graphite Light, after seeing this, after testing this and demoing this to you, what are my thoughts about it? I think that if you are a printing photographer, if you're just looking for a really good quality lamp to set up in your studio to compare your prints to your display, this is a really amazing option. The quality of light that you're getting from this Graphite Light itself is really good. We have tested that. We have also seen a comparison between this light and what you're getting out from the display that has been fully calibrated. It looks really close to each other. And if you want the uncanny match, if you go with any of the BenQ SW line, especially the newer models, they have this mode called Paper Color Sync that you can instantaneously turn your display to 5000 Kelvin to match this light source. And you can see that the print is really matching the display in a very uncanny way that looks almost identical to each other. So 
Like I said, if you're a photographer, you print, you have an inkjet printer in your studio, you're looking to get a really good light source, so you don't have to worry whether you're going to get a good quality LED or not, whether if you set the color temperature, if this is going to work right or not, I would definitely recommend looking at the graphy light and having this be an addition to your printing setup. Have any questions, comment, leave them below, give this a like, subscribe and hit the bell renew and in our trust.